Good morning and my name is Jenny Robson and I'm the founder of Roots and Branches Limited and today I'm going to give you my international strategy checklist. So this is all the components that you need in order to create your own international strategy to help your business to export. So this strategy is based on my seven step export strategy, which is values, visions, fears, power, authority, legitimacy, compliance and export success. Now, this is a seven step patented program that I talk about in all of my videos and in my upcoming book, Export Thrive, Change the World, which will be published later this year. I'm going to take you through each step and explain what you need to do in order to create your export strategy. So let's start with your values and vision. You should have a global vision. It should be consistent across all territories and you should have buy-in from your team. You sh it should guide your marketing and communication strategy. The next step is to understand your fears. What are your fears when it comes to exporting? Identify the ways that you can address them. Some of the biggest fears that I've encountered from exporters is cost, distance, IP infringement, the length of time it takes to build relationships or trust and cultural difference. In this case, I'm talking specifically about the Asian market, but you could apply this to any market. Power. Understand your power as a brand. Your market research should understand the competitive advantages of shelling into the region. In this case, again, I've used Asia as an example. Create a swap to understand where your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats lies. How much power are you willing to place in the hands of agents, distributors, local partners, consultants and advisors? Your authority. Your international marketing strategy, how you should establish a brand presence, how you manage agents, distributors remotely, how much authority are you going to give them to act on your behalf? How do you measure their success? What mechanisms can you use to protect your brand, your, such as IP mechanisms and financial mechanisms? Next step is legitimacy and compliance. This is where you will research the regulations, the legislation, the government stability, and how to operate across borders for each market that you intend to do business in. So what should be in a successful export strategy? A vision statement, comprehensive market research, what your product offering is, a priority list of markets that you intend to sell to, a list of your supply chain and production management methods, distribution channels and logistics clearly identified, a marketing strategy for each individual market, a financial strategy and resources pack for each individual market, and a legal and compliance framework for each individual market. So what should you do in the audit stage? First identify where you are now, which elements of your national strategy can be used as a foundation of your wider international strategy, in this case, Asia strategy. Provide a SWOT analysis of your current team, a SWOT analysis of your current resources, production capacity, supply chain and logistics, and a SWOT of your current finances. What sort of market research should you conduct? Start with PESTEL analysis. Be country specific, look at the wider regions, then be sector specific. Create a comprehensive competitor analysis, a product suitability analysis for each market and a route to market analysis for each market. Identify partners. Sorry. Identify your partners, understand your compliance and regulatory and then look at logistics. So what is PESTEL? PESTEL is a monomic which is expanded from 
denotes P for political, E for economic, S for social, T for technological, L for legal and E for environmental. It gives a bird's eye view of the whole environment from many different angles that one wants to check and keep track of while contemplating a certain idea or plan. Key questions to ask. What is the political situation of the country and how can it affect the industry? What are the prevalent economic factors? How much importance does culture have in the market and what is its determinants? What technological innovations are likely to pop up and affect the market structure? Are there any current legislations that regulate the industry or can there be change at any time in legislations for the industry? What are the environmental concerns for the industry? These are just a handful of questions to give you an idea of the sort of things you should be asking yourself when compiling your market research. For more information about how to create your international strategy or to outsource the whole project to us at Roots and Branches, please send me an email, jennifer at rootsandbranches.com. That's R-O-U-T-E-S. I look forward to working with you. Have a good day.